So lang putani kay mistika. Um, I, I don't think she will understand Bisaya. So, I will gonna do her a favor of trying to do this in Tagalog and English. So, mistika, I saw your video. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's very funny for for us, the Dabawenos, and, and me myself. I find it very funny, and in a way, very silly. For, for you to say all those words but then I will not gonna be public shaming you or calling you names because you know um, it's not just the way it is so you have some issues about the curfew and the martial law and everything well have you been to Davao City if not um, I'll tell you this I spent roughly five years in Davao when I was in the university and it's one of the <clears throat> best time of my life. I was very safe. I was very happy with everything. It was clean. People were very disciplined. Is that because we're scared of Mir Duterte that he was going to kill us? No. But we respect him a lot. So that's very different from the points of view of being scared and being respected. And um, second, he said about martial law. It was not him who declared martial law. Um, and you should try living in Davao City, really, seriously. Um, all I can say, okay, I'm going to give you a heads up of what Davao is, okay? People were very nice. Taxi drivers, vendors, the people itself. Davao is not heaven. It's not a perfect place. But then... It is the place when the moment you step out from your door, you feel safe. You don't have these crazy thoughts in your mind. Oh, what will gonna happen? Someone will gonna snatch my bag. Someone will gonna kill me. Someone will gonna rape me or stuff like that. And if you get hungry in the middle of the night, you can go out, buy some food, walk. No one will gonna harm you. Like no one ever dared to harm you. If you are living in a very decent and a law-abiding citizen you are, then you're safe. But if you're a drag addict and stuff, like you're crazy, then your birthday or are you going to be celebrating anniversary during, you know, you're going to be one of those people who are going to go uh, to celebrate for a um, November. I don't know what I Like... I'm living here in Toronto, Canada, and it's a very beautiful country itself. It's it's very safe, and it's under federalism, just so you know. So, um, but then I don't have that 
that feeling of security I had in Davao City in here. If I get hungry here in the middle of the night, I just go to the fridge, uh, check some fruits and stuff and eat it and stuff myself with it or just drink a lot of water and get over with my, you know, my starvation because I feel scared going out. What's going to be going on after I wake up, like I'll walk up from my door and it's not the same thing in Davao. Davao is like you can choose whatever you want. Jollibee, McDonald's, whatever it is. You can go out. So if you haven't tried that yet, try to live in Davao a month. And it's, a, you know, no one is going to hurt you in there. And don't worry, Mystica. Like, you know, like maybe some of my um, Kababayan or another Bisaya were like mad at you because really it's not the thing that you did and say all to me or to that is not fun at all. But then, you know, it's okay. It's your, it's your um, opinion. But just so you know. It's not right. It is ridiculously wrong. So just try to live in Davao City and sit for yourself. Okay? Okay, guys, be vigilant this election. Let's pray that Mayor Duterte will gonna win. Para sa pagbabago, Duterte, Cayetano.